Happy Sentinels Tuesday, everybody. We've got a new environment today. It is the welfare team from Lobotomy Corporation, made as always by Zerami and Crow. The box says, while most of the resources of energy we use here are quite harmful, there's still a few that with enough caution can be used by our employees. That's the welfare team is here for, making sure the employees are in a well enough state where they can make their job easier by using this. This environment is based around abnormalities that can give the players some benefits, but if used for too long, may have secondary effects. And uh, we use those to some very interesting ends in the test game. Our villain for today is Bill Cipher because he had to come back at some point. He will be fighting Target Lady Liberty, Infiltrator Gargoyle, Backdraft Ra, and Double Trouble, who, as it turns out, is a variant for Charlie Edsall. This was created by Nezu, so it's an unofficial variant, but we are giving them a shot. And that's all you need to know. Start of game, Bill has no particular setup. Whenever contract is destroyed, put it under his character card. Whenever hero is incapacitated, we leave their cards in the game. I believe that's all cards in play. You still return their hand to their deck. And when they're all incapacitated, he flips. End of the villain turn, we get a contract. No card enters play this way. Incapacitate the hero with the lowest HP. So we're looking for contracts. We want to make deals with this triangular devil. Here goes nothing. Watching, once cards revealed or discarded from the villain deck, put it into play instead. Each hero deals himself two psychic damage. Each player discards a card or destroys one of their cards. Well, that's easy enough. End of turn. Contract. Unclear specifics. Start of the villain turn, discard the top H cards of the villain deck. Then if there are five or more one-shots in the villain trash, deals the hero target with the highest HP, 21 infernal damage, and destroys this card. So we have a round or two to kill this. Let's get started. Light the way. I get Blazing Torch in the Light of Liberty. Okay, we'll do Light of Liberty. She will yearn to breathe free. Discard an ongoing card to destroy an ongoing card, or just anything to draw a card. Well, unfortunately, also, she's got a rallying cry. Let's do that. Draw two cards. Gargoyle, something to fear, which you guessed it, Leechfield. We will, I guess, reduce the next damage dealt by... I mean, Bill Cipher's not a target. I can't use this on him. So I reduce the next damage dealt by the contract. And then he deals two targets, one toxic damage each. Okay, that's going to be two damage to... or three damage to the unclear specifics. Two reduced to one to Ra. For each hero damage this way, draw or play a card. I will draw a card and draw. Speaking of Ra, and also speaking of dealing hero targets damage, Fire Blast for six. His power is fight fire with fire. He deals three targets, one fire damage each. One player may draw a card. Yeah, so he'll hit a contract, he'll hit himself, and he'll hit Gargoyle right back, and Gargoyle will leech field it. That's not too bad. He will let himself draw a card and draw a card. Double Trouble will start off with a local Gossip. When this card is play, I can use its power. Two players reveal the top card of their deck, then replace or discard it. One player may draw a card. We will do Double Trouble. We'll replace that. And Ra. Draw to the Flames. Probably don't need that. Discard it. We'll let Gargoyle draw a card. Double Trouble's power is Shifter's Whims. Play the top card of your deck. Double Trouble deals a target one irreducible melee damage. So, we get plans taking shape. Search deck for an ongoing card. Put in your hand. Shelf your deck. Double Trouble may deal himself two psychic damage. If they take damage this way, you may play an ongoing card. We're just going to go get it and put it in hand. And then hit this for two. And draw a card. The Welfare Team plays a Welfare Team agent. When this card is play, move it next to an Equipment or Abnormality card. We've got only the Leech Field, which is not going to work too well with this. At the end of the environment turn, a player may use a power or activate an end of turn effect on the card this is next to. So most of the abnormalities have end of turn effects. This doesn't, but somebody can use a power. I guess I'll have it be Gargoyle, because he can do one, two, three to this, and then do one to himself and leech field it. Not bad. Okay, start of turn, discard the top four cards of the villain deck. Okay, we only got one one shot, so we're good for now. And he plays Slight Electrocution. Cypher deals the hero target with the highest HP, H times three lightning damage. Well, that'll be Lady Liberty, who takes 11. A contract comes out. Body puppetry. First time the hero deals damage each turn, they deal the hero target other than the with the highest HP for melee damage. And if the hero who dealt damage this way has 8.3 or fewer HP, destroy this card. Okay, that's it. Destroy this card. Lady Liberty got a big boost off of that. So Blazing Torch will let her play another card. I think we'll do Unshackled Resilience and pop it for five melee damage. Boy, I'm really not sure which to hit here. Let's do Body Puppetry. And then she hits the hero target with the highest HP other than themselves for four. That's Ra. Draw two cards. Bioenergy Pulse. Very important. He will do... 2 damage to Body Puppetry. Hits the highest for 4. That is Double Trouble. He will Leech Field that, so it's only 3 damage. And hit the other Contract for 2. Increases next damage by 1. Draw a card. 
Raw will fire blast body puppetry. He hits gargoyle for four. Leech fielded it, of course. And then power, a damage to both contracts and, well, one damage to himself, I guess. Draw a card. Double trouble with Denouman. Let's card his place, select another hero, reduce the next damage dealt to that hero, and Charlie by two. That'll be gargoyle. That's who we're going to be hitting with damage next. Yeah, so power. You may use a power. Another hero may use a power to destroy this card. So first, play the top card of this deck. Gumshoe Coat. Hey, reduce damage dealt to them by one. And then they deal the target two useful melee damage, which will be body puppetry. And then four melee damage to gargoyle, reduced to two, reduced to one with leech field. And then somebody else can use a power. Oh, I forgot to have somebody draw a card off of Ra's power. How about... I guess Ra drew an extra card off of his own power. Let's have Ra use a power. One to body puppetry, one to unclear specifics, and one to double trouble, which is soaked. And then we'll let double trouble draw a card, draw a card, and destroy Denouement. The environment plays Doubt, Ordeal, Dawn. And the environment turn this card deals a non-ordeal target with the lowest HP, one melee damage. Oh, thank goodness. That is the body puppetry. Whenever this card destroys a target, it deals each non-ordeal target one irreducible psychic damage. Well, that's the downside, I guess. Okay, somebody can use a power. If I have Gargoyle use Bioenergy Pulse, he can actually take this out. Four damage to that. He'll take out body puppetry. Oh, that's right, but he also has to hit somebody. It's Ra for three which means he gets a plus one, so he'll use that on unclear specifics and then hit the employee for only one. And that's it. Discard the top four cards of the villain deck. One more one shot. He plays, oh, the worst card. Each player shuffles each one shot in their hand and each of their non-character cards in play into their deck. Then each player puts each card from their hand into play and puts their trash into their hand. Each player puts their deck into their trash and deals, it. oh my god, what the fuck? Okay, every one shot in hand and all your non-character cards in play go into your deck. So we will just return this agent to the environment. Each player puts every card from their hand into play, puts their trash into their hand. So play your hand, draw your trash. Light of Liberty, Preservation Engine, interesting. Double Trouble gets Rough Around the Edges and Element of Surprise. And then Ra gets the Staff of Ra, Solar Flare, Drawn to the Flame and Living Conflagration for two, three, four, five, six damage takes out this contract. We have nothing to do for the next round. Okay, everybody, draw your trash, put your deck into your trash, and deal yourself three melee damage. Okay, so he's taking four. Can't do anything about that. That's it. Okay, Light of Liberty goes away. That's honestly a really fun card. I just wish the art was not so terrifying. Yeah, literally all we have to fight is this employee, and they ain't done nothing to nobody. Let's light the... Oh, wait. There's nothing for her to reveal. Shoot. Rally and cry, I guess. Everybody heal one. Somebody can use a power. Gargoyle will hit Ra for nothing. No, he doesn't have leech field. Gargoyle will hit Ra for one and Lady Liberty for one and draw two cards. And then I don't want to use this power, I don't think. Now I can discard a card and draw a card and draw a card. Okay. Oh, look, I got a leech field. Thank goodness. So with his power, he will hit himself for nothing. Leech field one. Hit Lady Liberty for one. I guess I'll play Terrorize. Draw a card. Okay, Ra has nothing to do. He is double skipping. Oh, well, first destroying Solar Flare. Should have done that at the end of the round. Let's denouement again. Uh, reduce next damage dealt to Lady Liberty. Play the top card of your deck. Will shuffle the trash into the deck. I'll have to deal some damage. That's okay. Yeah. Play top card of the deck. Walk the beat. Heal two. If you place top card of the villain deck and environment deck, you may draw a card. Oh good, it's contract. We need more of those. And then they have to hit this poor employee for two. Draw a card. Right, the environment plays process of understanding. Ordeal noon. At the end of the environment turn, this card moves to the play area with the non-ordeal target with the lowest HP it isn't already in. Which right now is Lady Liberty. Whenever this card moves to a different play area, it deals each non-ordeal target in that play area two melee damage. So it goes over here and thankfully she soaks it. Bill plays this contract settling grudges. Whenever an environment card is play, it deals each hero target to infernal damage. Start of the villain turn if there are four or more environment cards in play, destroy this card. Each hero has access to the following power. Play the top three cards of the environment deck. Well, that could be very nasty. Let's get another contract. That's the last one, unfortunately. A bunch of the rest of them got discarded, which means we're about to start losing heroes. Sinister Proposal. And the villain turn the hero with the highest HP regains 4 HP, and Bill Cipher deals each of the hero target 4 infernal damage, and that hero may destroy 5 of their cards or sell their soul if they do destroy this card. Okay, so nothing happens there. Here with the highest HP is Double Trouble, who does not have 5 cards out. Everybody else take 4. 
Leech field that, and that's it. Okay, we want to get rid of that one. Settling grudges, we can get rid of the old-fashioned way. All right, light the way. Let's see if I can get another blazing torch. I did not. Um, I will do under the fallen. Power will go ahead and play the top three cards of the environment deck. So number one, portrait of another world. Once card into play, move it to a hero play area, and a hero in another play area gains the portrait keyword. Whenever a portrait target will be dealt damage, redirect it to a target in this play area instead. Okay, that means double dipping on Sinister Proposal if we can't get rid of it. I'm going to give that to Gargoyle, and we will use this nice little bag of portrait tokens and give one to Lady Liberty. Two, behavioral adjustment. Place in the play area here with the highest HP. That's double trouble. Interesting. At the start of this play area's turn, either increase or decrease damage dealt to and by targets in this play area by one until the start of this play area's next turn. That's going to be fun. And number four is another welfare team or agent. Now well, let's see, neither of these abnormalities has an end of turn effect. Okay, neither do any of our equipment cards, so we can just go over here. That means we get an extra power at the end of the environment, though. So this will take care of that one. We need to kill the other one. Draw a card. We also need to kill Process of Understanding if possible. Let's do something to fear. Use next damage dealt by Process of Understanding. Increases next damage by one. Let's grab Violent Assist. That'll work good with this raw. That's all the Hunter cards. I'm sorry I lost Bioengineering Pulse, though. For his power, one toxic damage will become four to this contract, and one more damage to process of understanding. Draw a card. And then both of those hit themselves for one. All right, is that irreducible? Yeah, so that minus one actually didn't do anything. I hate that. I keep forgetting about it. Okay, Ra. Hmm, he could do a bunch of damage with Scorched Earth, but we'll lose actually both employees. Is that worth it? Yes, actually it is. Scorched Earth. One, two, three, four, five, six fire damage to everything. Six to process of understanding. Five to the first employee, four to the second. Well, it is called Scorched Earth for a reason. Power, he'll do two damage to each of the contracts with his base power, and two damage to Gargoyle, who will prevent it with violent assist, and will let Gargoyle draw a card, and draw a card. This is a very good combo that I was not expecting. All right, Double Trouble is going to go plus one, plus one. Why not be bold? You know what? Dial in for Mark is super worth it. Double trouble deal a target two, three, four. Projectile damage. Hit the Sinister Proposal. Increase damage dealt to it by one. It doesn't deal damage itself, so that's fine. And then they can do two, three, four, five. Melee damage to it. Draw a card. The environment plays. Oh, a new fresh welfare team agent. How wonderful. You can go back over here. Hopefully you don't die this time. Power. Double trouble will take out Sinister Proposal. Awesome. Uh, we're about to lose Lady Liberty. All right, start of the villain turn. There are, well, actually, no, there's only three environment cards in play. Shoot. Okay, I take this back. I am going to play the top three cards of the environment deck. We killed a few too many. Number one, Heart of Aspiration. Oh, that's not good. Play this card in the hero play area with the fewest cards in play. That is Lady Liberty. Increase damage dealt by targets in this play area by one. Neat. At the end of this play area's turn, each target in this play area that didn't deal damage this turn deals the hero target with the highest HP one melee damage. Actually, that's not too bad because she's decent at dealing damage. Number two, we're really going to see the whole thing. Unexpected effect. When this card enters play, reveal cards in the environment deck until an abnormality is revealed. Put into play. Shelf the other reveal cards into the deck. And at the end of the environment turn, this card deals each target X psychic damage where X is the number of abnormality cards in their play area, then destroy this card. So that gets us Teresia. Play this in the play area of the player with the fewest cards in hand. That's either Gargoyle or Double Trouble. I'm going to give it to... Mm, I'm going to give it to Gargoyle because he's got more defense, actually. Player that controls this play area draws an additional card during the draw phase. You have to draw it. End of this play area's turn. If the player that controls this play area has seven or more cards in hand, they discard cards until they have one card in hand and then they destroy this card. And then one more. This is far too many cards, unfortunately. You must be happy. Play this card in the hero play area with the most cards in play. That is also Gargoyle. Shoot. We need to get rid of the unexpected effect real quick. At the end of this play area's turn, destroy a non-abnormality, non-character card in this play area, then play the top card of the deck that card belonged to. So that's going to be a little bit annoying. Okay, so that was the end of the environment turn. Oh, which is actually now. Never mind. Everybody take damage equal to the number of abnormalities you have. Double Trouble soaks it. Lady Liberty takes one. Gargoyle takes three. He will each field one of those. Start of the villain turn, he will hit this contract for zero increase to three psychic damage. Darn it. But now, Settling Grudges will destroy itself. 
And Bill plays Force of Calamity. At the start of the villain turn, destroy all of their ongoing cards, environment cards, equipment cards, and non-character, non-contract targets, and destroy this card. Well, that's not good. End of turn. I believe there are no contracts left. That is correct. Incapacitate the hero of the lowest HP is Lady Liberty. So she loses her hand and trash, but we keep Honor the Fallen in play. Because when he flips, everybody shuffles stuff and draws four cards. Okay, here with the highest HP regains four HP. That is Double Trouble, who heals one. Everybody else take four. Gargoyle will leech field one of them. Uh, here we destroy five of their cards. They still do not have five cards. That's fine. We're close. Okay, destroyed environment target. Oh, man, I really wish that was an environment card. Never mind. This one's gone. A player may draw a card or discard a card. A player may play a card. Do you have a wither by any chance, sir? No, he doesn't. We need ongoing destruction. And I think Gargoyle is the only person who has it. Lady Liberty had it until she was incapacitated. Well, we'll let Gargoyle draw a card. Damn, we have a very short amount of time before everything goes kaput. So, there's kind of no sense playing anything here. Well, that's not true. He'll play Mark for Execution. And he'll just go ahead and use that to drop this contract. So it doesn't have its effect on him, thankfully. Increasing his next damage. Dealt by X, where X was the amount of negative HP it had, so plus one, and he heals one. He can deal a second target one melee damage. He will do that, he'll hit Ra and Leech Field it for another plus one. Draw two cards, he does not have seven cards, he does not have a Wither. Frick. Let's summon Staff. We have nothing to do once again, other than dig for ongoing destruction. Ra has nothing to do. Like, the only three targets in play right now, well, other than this poor employee, are the other heroes. And there's only one of them I actually want to hit, and that's Gargoyle. I know, he can do Living Conflagration, two fire damage to Gargoyle, prevent that for plus two to his next damage, draw two cards. That's it, that's all I've got. I'm gonna do Plans Taking Shape, we'll stick with the plus plus. Actually, no, let's, let's switch this to minus minus, because we don't need any damage dealt right now. You don't have any ongoings that magically destroy ongoing cards, do you? Yeah, nope. What am I going to want to get back? Element of Surprise. Put that in hand. Shuffle. They will not deal themselves damage. Shoot, man. Oh, you know what I forgot to do was at the end of Gargoyle's turn, Mark for Execution, which plays another Mark for Execution. Okay, that's fine. I've really got no powers I want to use. Let's Denouement. I'll use Element of Surprise for three damage against Gargoyle. Prevent it for a big plus. Somebody else can use a power. I don't think anybody has any powers I want to use. Destroy that card. Draw a card. Environment turn. Giant tree sap. Thank goodness this is going away. Play this in the play area with the hero with the lowest HP. At the end of this play area's turn, a hero in this play area regains 2 HP and reduce their max HP by 2, and that's raw. So I take and use a little counter to keep track of how much HP they don't have. Okay, everything gets destroyed. That's very unfortunate since we could have gotten Honor the Fallen back, although I mean, that's not a big deal. Here's a good question. Do extra keywords get erased off of a hero when they're in-capped and re-capped? I'm gonna go with no. And Gargoyle loses all of his junk. Oof. Destroy that card. Want to make a deal. End of the villain turn. A player draws X plus one cards, and Bill Cipher deals each hero other than that player's hero X plus three infernal damage, where X is the number of contracts in play. Speaking of contracts, there are no contracts. Shuffle the villain deck and incapacitate Ra. Okay. Each hero other than that player's hero is taking damage. So one Gargoyle draws a card, and four reduced to three to double trouble. That's fine. So we have nothing to do but wait two more rounds, because all the contracts are in the villain trash, and yeah, there's nothing to do. This is dumb. Someone can play a card. I guess playing cards is a good idea. We can start building back up again. Get Bioenergy Pulse out. Gargoyle will play Agile Technique, and he's actually going to use his power. Well, no, he's not going to use it. Skip his power, draw a card. Got one player plays a card, a hero regains 2 HP, a player discards 2 cards, draws 2 cards. Okay, healing is unimportant. Let's get Preservation Engine back out. Double Trouble can play Element of Surprise, and... Oh, might as well not worry about hurting each other. Play the top card of your deck. Caught in the act. There are no non-character targets in play, so that is discarded. We hit Gargoyle for 2, and he leech fields it for 1. <laughs> Draw a card. He's the next to die, so it doesn't matter. Okay, the environment plays another unexpected effect. We have any abnormalities left. We do not. So, uh, nobody takes any damage. Neat. Bill plays another Horde Disfigurement. Oh my freaking god. Well, that's fine. This won't be screwing up a whole lot of stuff, necessarily. Yeah, Double Trouble loses their damage reduction. Alright, play your hand. All Gargoyle has is your strength is mine, and the only target he can put that on is Double Trouble, <laughs> who deals irreducible damage. This is great, actually. You know what? I'm going to destroy both of those right now. 
for plus four damage and minus four on double trouble's next damage. Ooh, which is perfect, except that he's going to be killing himself. Yeah, he's going to kill himself with this. Oh well. All right, draw your trash deck into trash and hit yourself for three. Gargoyle dies. That was a bit of a waste. And double trouble takes no damage. So that's pretty good. Shuffle the villain deck, incapacitate double trouble, and then we flip the bill. All right, he has 333 hit points. When flipped, flip each incapacitated hero, restore them to max HP, put their set-aside cards into play, forming their deck, put each contract under Bill Cipher's character card into the villain trash, for each card put in the trash this way. He deals himself 39 infernal damage. Each player may search their deck for a non-one-shot card that doesn't share a name with another card in play and put it into play. Each player shuffles their deck and draws four cards, destroy non-character villain cards, and shuffle the villain trash into the villain deck. Okay. All right, so we've got four contracts. What's well, four times 39? It's 116, 217 he's left with. Okay, so everybody can get four non-one shots from their deck into play, and then they shuffle their deck and draw four cards. Okay, we want a Solar Flare, a Staff of Ra, a Blazing Tornado, and how about an Imbued Fire, Scarecrow? He wants all of his Hunter cards. No, not all of them. We want Violent Assist, Leech Field, and Preservation Engine. I consider Terrorize to be less useful. I want Bio Energy Feedback Pulse. She can... Oh my god, we could grab Shelter the Innocent for everybody. There's three of them. Okay, Shelter the Innocent on Ra. He's immune to damage. She gets Blazing Torch, and Honor the Fallen, Freedom's Touch. All right, destroy that. Thank goodness. Shuffle the villain trash into the deck. Okay, end of the villain turn. Play top card of the villain deck. Then Bill Cipher deals a hero target with the highest HP, eight infernal damage. Each hero has access to the following power. Bill Cipher deals your hero nine infernal damage. If your hero takes damage, this way destroy a contract. Here we go. Slight electrocution. 12 lightning damage to the highest. That's Ra. He's immune to damage. End of turn. Psychic Prison. Place a card in the player of the hero character with the first letter, their name closest to M. Okay, so let's see. L. Okay, this goes next to Lady Liberty. The hero cannot deal damage to targets outside their play area. Reduce damage dealt to this card by three. She might have something to say about that. And then he hits the highest for eight, and that's Ra, who's immune to damage. Start of turn, this goes away. But that was great. Let's do Lady Liberty. Oh yeah. Don't forget, we have all damage is fire and increased by one. Oh, we're going to make him suffer. Okay, she's at full HP, so Blazing Torch is actually not doing anything. But Freedom's Touch, two, three, four, five fire damage to the prison. When player draws a card, that'll be herself. Draw a card. Gurgle. I'll put Terrorize out. And then let's use his base power. Three toxic damage to Bill. Can't actually hurt this psychic prison, but we can leech field that. Draw a card. And Bill hits himself for one. Ra has all the damage boosts. Summon Staff. Off of that, Fire Blast. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine fire damage to Bill Cipher. Power. Staff of Ra, actually. Three, four, five, six, seven. Destroy that. Draw a card. Destroy Solar Flare. Start your turn. Double Trouble Angel himself. Two psychic damage. Let's take no damage this way. Destroy this card. That's going to be three, four. Four, three, two. Okay, well that evens out. Two damage. Oh, I forgot to do Denouement. Two damage on him. And this actually would have gotten eaten up, so it would destroy that. Oops, oh well. Bare Knuckle Brawl. Double trouble deal. One, two, three, four fire damage to Bill. He hits back for nothing, and then he takes five. Power, Denouement. Element of surprise. Two, three, four, five. Who else wants to use a power? Gargoyle can do... No, actually, let's do Blazing Tornado. Three, four, five. Destroy that card. Draw a card. Heal one, and that's it. I can prevent one card play. The environment plays Chessid, Employee, Sephira. Whenever an Abnormality card enters play, one player may draw a card. At the end of the environment turn, you may move an Abnormality card to a different hero play area. Unfortunately, they're all gone. <laughs> I wonder why. All right, Bill plays Eight Ball. Eh... That would be worth discarding, but I think I'd rather save it for something worse. All right, and then he plays another card. Want to make a deal? Could be worse. He hits the highest for eight. Seven to raw. Eight ball deals here a target with the highest HP, eight melee damage. That is Lady Liberty. The Psychic Prison is actually not a big issue. Like, Lady Liberty is not here to deal damage. I could stand into the light and just heal people. Okay, somebody is drawing a card. Everybody else is taking four infernal damage. Lady Liberty, no. Ra will draw the card. Everybody else take four. Wow, Gargoyle, reduced to two. One, Leech Field for nothing. 
Lady Liberty takes three, Double Trouble takes two, and hits back for five, and that's it. All right, Light of Liberty goes away. That was very nice. I'm probably just going to play another one. Yeah, I can play two cards. Light of Liberty. Who's got a card they want to play? Ra, Healing Warmth. Heal three, and play the Staff of Ra for three more HP, so he's at full for next round. Power, Freedom's Touch. Or actually, discard an ongoing card and destroy one to make a deal. Draw a card. Oh, draw two cards. Mm-hmm. Gargoyle is kind of low on stuff to do here. Grim Herald. Let's do three, four, five, six, seven. Fire damage to Bill. Somebody else discard a card? Yeah, he's just going to draw a card. And then power. He'll hit eight ball first. One, two, three. Leech field that to two. And then do four to Bill. Draw a card. They both hit themselves for one. Oh, I actually guess I wanted to use Bioenergy Pulse to do the same thing with an extra plus one. Inferno, three, four, five, six, and four to eight ball, and then six more damage to Bill, draw a card. Oh yeah, he does have Violet Assist out again, that's important. I think it is time to dial M for Mark. He'll target two, three, four projectile damage, well, fire damage. He will increase damage dealt to Bill by one, and all damage he deals is redirected to double trouble. Power, two, three, four, Four, five, six to Bill. Draw a card and heal one. Gonna need that healing real soon. The environment plays looks like another doubt. The lowest non ordeal target is unfortunately eight ball. He goes eight cards from the top. Deals nine each ordeal target one irreducible psychic damage. Uh, let's hit Bill first for two. Let's hit Gargoyle for one so he can leech field. Let's hit the mine prison for one and then we'll hit double trouble and they will hit back for five and drop it. Bill plays teeth. Oh no, not teeth. And then he plays oh, another Horde Disfigurement. Oh my god, why? We're going to lend a hand and discard that, because please no. I have target the highest HP, deals Charlie formulae damage. Make that two, hit back for six, destroy that card. That's a little bit better. And then he deals, oh yeah, double trouble, eight, reduced to six. That's it for that. Teeth deals itself three melee damage. That is not great, because he's going to be dealing damage equal to his HP. I have more Lights of Liberty. Just keep doing that and also light the way. Let's play Stand in the Light. Power, Stand in the Light will heal Double Trouble for three, and everybody else but her can heal one. Draw two cards. Okay, let's do Dream Catcher, which I never ever play. Draw two cards. I'll reduce the next damage he deals by one. He deals a target one, two toxic damage, make that three to Bill, and then he deals one other target two toxic damage. Oh yeah, I'm sorry, two, three, four five, and then two, three, four to teeth, and then power bioenergy pulse, one, two, three, four to bill, three to teeth, plus one who's next damage, draw a card. Hurrah! Might as well play flesh of the sun, god, just in case there's self-damage here. Boy, admittedly, I could get some mileage out of Drawn to the Flame, never mind, because it's zero, one, two, three to bill, two to teeth. That's not great. Draw a card. That wears off. Okay, what's Teeth going to be hitting? Your target the highest HP? Yeah, okay, we're going to Red Herring on Ra, and then Power Maltese Flask. I wish I had Stretch Teeth in still. For 4 HP? Well, no, I'm going to deal some damage. I mean, it's either heal some and have more HP left, or hit Teeth for more and have more HP left. Okay, so 2, 3, 4, 5, fire damage to Teeth, draw a card, heal one. That's actually the way to do it. All right, we shuffle the environment deck and get a process of understanding. This goes next to non-ordeal target, the lowest HP, which is the Mind Prison, actually. So this goes over to harass Lady Liberty, hits her for one, Mind Prison soaks it. All right, sort of turn, Teeth hits your target with the highest for X melee damage, where X is this card's current HP, that is 15, two raw, but we redirect it to double trouble. Four or more damage has been redirected this way, so the hero next to this card can play a card, use a power in any order, and then destroy this card. So that's 15, reduced to 13. Neat, raw will flame spike. One, two, three, four, fire damage to Teeth. He can use two powers. First, we'll draw into the flame. Two, actually it's three and three. I miscalculated that previously, so Double Trouble should have one more HP. Second power, Blazing Tornado, three, four, five, six. Teeth is almost dead. Oh, he'll take himself out now. Destroy that card. That was super worth doing. Bill plays watching. Everybody heal yourself two psychic damage. Each player discards a card or destroys one of their cards. Uh, the cool thing is, let's see, Ra is immune. I'll discard a card. Actually, no, he'll just destroy it around the flame. I can play it again if I really want. Gargoyle deals himself two, three, four, five. Reduce to four. Leech field that to take one less damage. So 
actually for three. So you can deal another target three, four, five, six to Bill. He will discard a card. Lady Liberty, a one, two, three. Lady Liberty hits herself for Now she has all three Blazing Torch things. And let's not destroy anything. Let's destroy Honor the Fallen. Okay, and then he plays Guys of Sincerity. Each player draws two cards. Each hero deals himself four psychic damage, restore each contract to its max HP. Well, also fun. Double Trouble hits himself for Oof. Yeah, they might be dead. Ra is immune. Gargoyle for five, six, five. Can do five, six, seven to Bill. Liberty for five, six, seven, six. And there are no contracts, and that's awesome. Teeth knocks himself out. Good job. Okay, Light of Liberty goes away. Play one Light of Liberty. Play two Liberty Smite. Let's maybe start working on this. Three, four, five, six. Reduce to three against the Mind Prison. Off of that, I can play probably, oh no, Healing Warmth. Let's heal Double Trouble, who can play a card. How about a Denouement? Protect himself and Lady Liberty. Power one, Light the Way. She's gonna heal herself three and everybody else for one. Well, except for, uh, I guess she'll heal an extra one. And then power two, Freedom's Touch, two, three, four, five, two damage to the Mind Prison, draw a card. All right, Grim Herald, three, four, five, damage to Bill. Rob will discard a card. Essence Theft, deal a target, three, four, five, fire damage and heal one. And then Bio Energy Pulse for three damage on Bill, plus one to his next, draw a card. There we go, something better. Fire Blast for seven, eight, and Blazing Tornado for six. Look at that HP just melt away. I'm gonna play Caught in the Act. This is going on, well, process of understanding. So it cannot deal damage to targets other than Charlie. I think it's going to be going to Double Trouble next, so that's unfortunate, but whatever. Power, we're gonna do Maltese Flask. Heal four, destroy that card. Draw a card. I forgot to destroy Denouement. Did I use it? Oh no, I just played it, that's right. Actually, yeah, let's do that off of Denouement. So somebody else can use a power. Ra, do your six fire damage to Bill, then destroy that also. Draw a card, and that's it. All right, the environment plays Heart of Aspiration again. Fewest cards in play is either Ra or Double Trouble. Let's put this on Ra. He could stand to have another damage boost. End of turn. Oh, somebody can draw a card off of that. Lady Liberty. We can move that to somebody else. Don't need to, that's fine. He'll be dealing damage. Process of Understanding moves to Double Trouble and hits them for two. Actually, that is soaked, just flat soaked. Doesn't even take off the next damage taken. Okay, on to Bill. I bet. End of turn, he plays another card. Oh, it's body puppetry. Oh dear. That might be worth taking some damage for. Bill hits the highest for eight. That's seven to Ra. The I bat hits the hero target with the highest for four infernal damage. Heroes damage this way, they discard all one shots in hand. That's Ra, who takes three and discards his excavation. <laughs> that could have been worse. Okay, do I have more Lights of Liberty? The answer is no. Sad face. Um, light the way. Oh, darn, I get Unshackled Resilience and Stand in the Light. Okay. All right, power one, Stand in the Light. She'll heal herself for three, heal everybody else for one. Power two, we'll use Bill Cipher's thing. He hits her for nine, reduced to seven. Destroy a contract. Draw two cards. All right, Gargoyle will play Mark for Execution. Deal a target two, three, four to Bill. And a second target three. Hit the I bat with that. Draw a card. If we can get rid of the Mind Prison, Process of Understanding will go after Bill. Let's see if I can do that. Living Conflagration, two, three, four, five, will take out the Mind Prison. That's super worth it. Actually, you know what? No. If that's five damage, five to Bill Cipher, and then we'll use Living Conflagration, that one damage will get through, drop the Mind Prison, draw two cards, and he doesn't have to deal anybody else damage. Awesome. All right, start of turn, caught in the act, double trouble does two, three, four, to process of understanding, destroy that card. Let's play the Maltese Flask, element of surprise, two, three, four, to the eye bat, draw a card. Process of understanding will take that out for us. Hey, we get a welfare team employee, awesome. We do have an abnormality here. You know what's fun is I could actually activate this instead of using a power, make Gargoyle the hero target with the highest, hit him for a bunch and prevent it with violent assist. I might do that. First, we can move an abnormality. That's fine. Second, the process of understanding moves over here, drops the eye bat and hits Bill for two. Thanks, little guy. You're going to die now. And then, yeah, I'm going to do the thing. Ra didn't deal damage this turn, so he deals the hero target with the highest HP one, two, three, 
melee damage, prevent it with violent assist, plus three to his next damage dealt. Although I don't know, I could probably have done more damage with a power, but that just feels more fun. Okay, Bill plays a Horde Disfigurement, and I don't have any way to stop this. Here goes nothing. We get Element of Surprise, Gumshoe Coat back out, and Red Herring. Hmm, I'm gonna throw that on Lady Liberty. It's a lot of trash, can't complain too much. Well, she gets Blazing Torch back, that's fine. And Stand in the Light, and two Unshackled Resilience. Oh right, start of turn, we could trade that three damage in for four damage on Bill Cipher, before we get rid of all these Hunter cards. Well, at least he gets something back. Violent Assist and Preservation Engine. Oh, and he's got a Leech Field. Awesome. Leech here does himself three melee damage. Two. Oh no, Ra hits himself for four, and then he hits himself for three off a of Flame Barrier. Gargoyle will hit himself for two. Oh no, he doesn't have Leech Field. Never mind. Damn, he doesn't even have Bioenergy Pulse. And she does four. We'll redirect that to Double Trouble, so that's four damage. Getting redirected, she can play a card and use a power. Stand in the light. She heals herself for three, everybody else for one, and then who's the highest? Shelter the Innocent on Gargoyle. End of turn. Plays eight ball again. Oh, that time again. Eight chaps, and then he hits Gargoyle for nothing, and eight ball hits Gargoyle for nothing, and then that goes away. Okay, she can do all the things. Play number one. Shelter the Innocent on Gargoyle. Play number two. One two punch. Do six six to Bill. Power number one, Unshackled Resilience, five melee damage. Power number two, Unshackled Resilience, five melee damage. And those were both actually six, so that's 12 to Bill. Shuffle her trash into her deck, draw two cards. Gargoyle will get that leech field out, and I guess use his base power. Let's hit eight ball for nothing, so that he can hit Bill for two. Draw a card. Ra, can't summon staff. That's funny, actually. Staff of Ra, and then I guess we could do drawn into the flame. Well, you know what? That was fire damage. He didn't take that extra three. Never mind. Zero, one, two to everything. That includes the employee, but that's okay. It angered him by, you know, being there. Okay, now I can play Stretch Too Thin. Power Element of Surprise. Hit Bill for three. Shuffle Trash into deck. Draw a card. End of turn, I can play a card or use a power. Let's play the Malt Ease Flask so Double Trouble can heal. Oh, Behavioral Adjustment comes out. That is going after Ra, which is kind of unfortunate because I made Gargoyle here with the highest HP. Actually, you know what? I did that because I miscalculated Ra's HP, so this should actually be on him. Okay, Nito. That's fun. Giving that to Ra is fine. Somebody can use a power. I think there's four non-hero targets, so if I use his base power, he can hit the three of them that I actually want him to hit for three a pop take out Process of Understanding, because it was going to move back to the environment and murder our little friend here. Okay, Bill, Bill, Bill. Promise of Knowledge. We didn't see this one yet. Whenever a player draws a card, Bill Cypher deals a hero one irreducible damage. That's fine. Oh, end of the villain turn, each player draws four cards, and one player may discard 12 cards to destroy this card. Well, okay, end of turn, he hits raw for nothing, and he plays Force of Calamity. Okay, that's a problem. Do I have a Wither? No, of course I don't. Why would I? This could change. Eight Ball hits Ra for nothing. Everybody draw four cards, take four damage. Well, Ra is fine. He can probably discard. Did not get a Wither. Gargoyle will Leech Field one of those. And then, yeah, Ra will discard a bunch of cards. All but two. All right, destroy that card. Worth it. Oh, that's true, she can get rid of it. Okay, Lady Liberty. Liberty Smite, four melee damage to Bill. She can play a card, Liberty Smite. She can play a card, Liberty Smite. She can play a card, Radiant Dive, hit him for five, and heal one. Card play number two, Freedom's Touch. Power number one, she'll use her base power. Discard an ongoing card, destroy Force of Calamity. Power two, Freedom's Touch, deal a target, three Radiant Damage, and let Ra draw a card, draw two cards. When she can open up, she's amazing. Grim Herald, deal a target four, toxic damage. Double Trouble will discard a card, so Gargoyle can play Bioenergy Pulse. We'll do Bioenergy Pulse. Yeah, Leech Field, the hit to the employee, hit Bill for two, hit Eight Ball for one, plus one to his next damage, draw a card, and on his turn, Ra will finish Bill off. That was one hell of a fight. Believe it or not, I don't think we saw the entire environment deck. Let's check that real quick. Never mind, we did. So, that was the Welfare Team, and another reminder of the Bill Cipher villain deck, which is a sight to behold. You can find Welfare Team on Project Moon Sentinels. You can find Bill Cipher on Arky's Assemblage, if I'm not mistaken. Target Lady Liberty on Sentinels Community Customs Classics, and the Double Trouble Charlie variant on Zarami's Vault. As always, thank you for watching. Thanks everybody for coming to chat. 
Hopefully we'll be able to do this next week like normal, but who knows what's going to happen. Tabletop Simulator Revisions called DLC, Project Moon Sentinels, Arky's Assemblage, Sentinels Communities, Customs, Classics, and Sparami's Vault, and all these Please support the official release, and flip. <gasps> Bump it just, just followed you. Oh my god. It worked. Why did it have to be M and not like A or Z? Oh my god. Hang on a second, I need more water for this.